National Heritage Fellow Cyril Pahinui of Waipahu, Hawaii is unable to be with us tonight due to health reasons, but we are joined by his wife, Shell, and two of his apprentices. Cyril Pahinui has played a significant role in the resurgence of interest in Hawaiian traditional music, especially through his mastery and perpetuation of the slack key guitar style. Some of musical legend Gabby Pahinui, Cyril grew up playing and learning the styles of many of the most recognized masters of his father's generation in the intimate backyard jams at his family home in Waimalo, Hawaii. Slacky guitar is a tuning effect achieved by loosening the strings to accommodate Hawaiian harmonic and percussion structures and to accompany the rhythms of traditional Hawaiian dancing. Historically, families held their own styles of tuning secret and passed them on from generation to generation. A more open spirit prevails today, and in an effort to preserve the art form, many slack key guitarists now openly share their tuning styles and techniques. While we are sorry that Cyril is unable to be with us, it is fitting for his legacy as a mentor and teacher of slack key that we have two of his favorite apprentices with us tonight. Let's welcome Jeff Peterson and Sean Robbins performing a song written by Cyril in tribute to his father called Lullaby for Pops. Thank you, Jeff and Sean. Mahalo. Thank you. You know what I'm going to ask, right? How did Cyril teach this heritage to you? 
Yeah, so uh, in Hawaii, we have a, an old tradition. Um, and I think it's, it's very similar to a lot of old time, um, old time traditions, right? So this is in our culture. We, we have a saying that says, Ho'olohe kapepeo, uh, na na kamaka, and pa'akawaha. And that basically means, listen with your ears, watch with your eyes, and close your mouth. <laughs> 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 so Uncle will um, very lovingly sit in front of you and play something. And uh, it's your responsibility to uh, try and play it back. And after doing that for a while, you start to pick it up. And that's the exact same way I'm sure he learned from his dad, uh, Gabby Pops Pahinui, who many of us know as basically the, the founder of modern Hawaiian music as we know it. And so I had the privilege to learn from uh, the same, that same style from Uncle Cyril. And uh, yeah, so ho'ole, kapepeo, na na kamaka, and pa'akawa. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> that sounds like a good life lesson, you know? Absolutely. <laughs> Not just to. Um, tell me a little a bit more about the tuning. Yeah, so the first song that we played is in one of Cyril's signature open D tunings. And what Kiho Alu, or slack key guitar, is, is a tradition that started way back in the 1830s in Hawaii when the guitar was first brought into the islands. Uh, started on the Big Island, an area called Waimea, with the Vaqueros. They started this mm. cowboy tradition. Uh, my father was a, a Hawaiian cowboy in the island of Maui. We're called Pani Olo, the Hawaiian cowboys. Mm. And the, the Hawaiians, we took the guitar and experimented with changing the tuning, loosing the tuning key, or its slack key. Mm. And so I just tuned uh, to another one of Cyril's signature tunings. And this he learned from his kupuna coming before him, the elders. And Atta Isaac had a big influence on him. And so this is an open C tuning. So if I play the, the guitar strings open, it's quite low. The bass string is tuned very low. This string actually is raised in pitch. The second string is raised in pitch. You play all the notes together, and you get this gl glorious, lush chord. And Cyril did many beautiful innovations with this tuning. It's really it's part of his heart and soul when his music comes through this tuning. Uh, and there are many variations on the tuning. He's just changing the string. His father would tune down the second string down uh, to a lower pitch, and it would give it a sort of different mm. resonance. Each tuning sort of has its own feel to it. Right, beautiful. That's can, can, we, can we hear another song? Yes. <laughs> so we're going to do a medley of two songs. And if you've seen this beautiful photo of Uncle Cyril, uh, it's at Hi'ilave, the waterfall uh, on the Big Island. And it is a, his father's signature song and one of the very first uh, ever recorded by Gabby Pahinui. And it's in uh, this beautiful Waipio Valley on the island of Hawaii. And so we're going to do a song called Aloha Kamanini, and then we're going to go into the song Hi'i Lave. Beautiful. Let's hear it for them.
Ja malo. Beautiful. Beautiful. Thank you, Jeff Peterson and Sean Robbins, in tribute to National Heritage Fellow Cyril Bahinui.